This is a story of my journey across the United States to follow the Liverpool band The Wombats on their US tour. If you haven't been following this video series already, you can click here to go back to the first video. Hi, uh, we're The Wombats. <laughs> You're watching Out of the Dark. So I was on the guest list for the Salt Lake City show. I convinced Austin to come with me. Ooh, it's a touch screen. I'm on a plane. Austin is tired. Is it a video? It's a video. No, I'm just talking to you. I'm telling you that you're tired. Austin is tired. Do you want to take us through the... What are we, where are we going? What are we doing? No. Come on. Wombats. We're going to Salt Lake City to see the Wombats. Thanks, bud. Oh, uh, whoa. Look at him, like, sunbeam on the plane. Okay, Austin's going to sleep now. And I'm going to go listen to the Wombats. We finally arrived. Very bewildered. Of us in Salt Lake City, and there's supposed to be mountains, maybe. That way. No. Nope. Nope. Right? There might be like a mountain range. Yeah. Like the Rockies. That's why well, I think like, it is. I don't know where the Rockies go, but it sounds like the right. Is it the mountain? Because it's the Colorado's mountain. right. It's like the tens on the mountain. <laughs> I think mountain. Colorado's right next to us. It's like that's so, where the mountains yes. go. Yes. That's the side. There's the, the area of the country where there's a giant mountain all range. Can, all you can see is the bus, really. But. We quickly discovered that Salt Lake City was like no place we had ever been. H1N1 poster. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a it's reject the vaccine poster. Wow. That is intense. That's old school. That bicycle rack looks like a bicycle. Looks like a person riding yeah. a bicycle, but is also the bicycle. Whoa. So the person is the bicycle. Um, so we're in Salt Lake City. <laughs> it's are. beautiful, but empty and creepy. It looks like they have state regulated grass. Yeah, look at this grass. Look at that. Look at that grass. Look at it. From the hedges to the trees to the flowers are all evenly spaced apart and perfectly yeah, trimmed. Look at it. And there's just no one here. Look at the fucking grass. Look at it. I can't get oh over this God. grass. I can't either. <laughs> Look, it's pristine on either end. All, I thought it was just at one hotel, but all of the grass. And then he's got this creepy, just empty, like, ooh, Austin. <sighs> hey, yes, unkempt grass and weeds. Oh, there are weeds. and a There's sock. sock. There's a sock. There. Weeds. I never thought I'd be this excited to see dandelions. See, now, There's like now, why does it look more alive now? We don't know anything about Salt Lake City. That is an unnecessary number of stoplights right there. And cars. Unnecessary. Ready, ready yeah, look at all this. Whoa. Oh my god. I just said that I feel like I'm in LA but crappier. Like, LA but with no stuff. That's like the courtyard. And the courtyard is like half the, like, the venue is half the size of the courtyard. So we just went to the venue and it was so weird. It was like this little alley and like a bunch of little huts or like houses or something. Utah, you are weird. Hello? Yo, Austin. Awesome. Really? I'll cut that part out. It's fine. We got Belgian waffles and fritz. Austin got this monster sandwich. I don't know if you can see it. But... It's huge! <laughs> yeah, it's a monster. <laughs> it was a monster, but he ate it all. And then I got waffles. He also got waffles, which is mental. And we have fries. And we're sitting on the patio, and it's actually a nice and sunny. There's lots of babies everywhere. I get Utah now. It's, I don't know why you're making that face. Why are you making that face? I don't get the rest of Utah. Okay. I just get this section of Utah. Right. We eat this block. Yeah. Maybe the surrounding couple this blocks. This block, yeah. This like, block I wish I could sense. just take this block and put it in Vancouver. Because it's just very copy lovely. Copy paste it to here. the rest of Utah. Or, like, copy and paste it into the rest of Utah. <laughs> we just were down the alley. Uh, where the wombats were, and we saw the venue from the inside. It is so tiny. It's like 18 foot square, or like 20 feet square. <laughs> Merce said that it was smaller than uh, most dressing rooms that they get. We got in and the venue was tiny and full of people, but I still managed to weasel my way into the front. Flagship's light show wasn't as good because they only had room for like one or two of their lights because the venue is so small. This was the last show that Flagship played on the tour. The Static Jacks played their first song and Flagship ran up on the stage to help them finish it. Some of them had wigs. It was hilarious and great.
The Wombat's Blade, they killed it. It's like, okay, it's like if you liked the Beatles before they were big in America, I don't know, because you lived in Liverpool, and then you moved or something, and then they played in America in a garage uh, to 80 people. It was amazing. Tord stepped on my camera for a second. Uh, my bad. I put my camera under his foot. <laughs> By the way, this footage isn't zoomed in or anything. I was actually this close. Rocking away, not paying attention to what I'm pointing my camera at. The Static Jacks released balloons into the very small venue, and Murph became fixated on one of them and started to eat it or something. Uh, he held it for like an entire song. It's really weird. This is the worst. This is gonna be the worst vlog I've ever. Are made you just in my gonna? Life. How bad does it look? It's not horrible. I can't see. It's not too bad. No. I just went to the best llama show I've ever seen in my life. It was awesome. And Tord is right here. I don't know. Yeah. And Austin's right here. Whoa. Hey. There you are. And uh, I'm gonna stop doing this now because I can't see. I'm about to go to the airport. Austin left yesterday. I stayed. We didn't think I'd get on the plane, but also because I wanted to see Salt Lake City, I guess. I took a bus out to a place called Salt Hair, which is this really great, awesome old music venue that's burnt down like seven times, but they just keep building it again. It was where, and I'm quoting off Wikipedia here, the Mormons of old could send their kids for some good, clean, chaperoned fun. And it's still a music venue today. I saw the lake. I didn't take any video. As creepy as Salt Lake City is, it's like, I kind of get it. There's no people on the street. Ever. Nobody goes out. Except in their cars. I guess because it's hot. Maybe the Wombats will do another show here. Then I'll definitely free and come back. Because this was the best show of my life. But I'm off to Seattle. I'm gonna spend two days in Seattle making vlogs. Editing vlogs. And then I'm going to Portland. Then I'm going to Las Vegas. Then I'm going home. Why do they even have sidewalks? Nobody walks. So there was a little bit of drama surrounding my leaving of Salt Lake City, but we'll get into all of that in the next video. This symbol here is supposed to be marking, I think, like, where they're gonna add a bike lane or something, but looks like a TIE fighter. There's another one over there. There's one here. There's one there. So